Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Did you hear the punchline? It's powerful, and it's strong, but it's very subtle. He who hears the word of God and keeps it, he or she are my family, are my brothers, are my sisters. Are we the Lord's brothers and sisters? Are we the family of the Lord? Are we strangers? Are we people who are wed to this world? And even when we hear a statement in the gospel or we read it in the Holy Scriptures, we still question and we still think we know best and we have to judge and bargain. Am I going to follow this or am I going to do something else? If we don't keep the word of God when we hear it, we are not his children. Doesn't matter if the scriptures say, Hail, O Jerusalem, Hail, O Israel, you are the chosen people. But if we don't choose him, we're not his family. Oftentimes people get all worked up over what do these things mean? You look at this old couple, Joachim and Anna. She was not fertile, she didn't have children, and she was looked down upon. But finally she gives birth to this miraculous child. But all the time, she wasn't angry. She wasn't questioning. She did exactly what the Lord told her to do. She prayed daily. She gave thanks to God. She didn't judge. She wasn't worried. We are so wrapped up in what the world is doing, what the world is saying. We have, I hear all the time in the Brotherhood, people who have family, relatives, and everything else in Ukraine, in Russia, in Israel, and they're so worried what's going to happen. It's not God that's gonna make these things happen, it's we who are gonna make them happen with our lack of faith. We are slaughtering one another, whether figuratively or realistically around the world because we don't hear the word of God. How can you love someone that you in turn kill? How can you have an enemy when you love them? You cannot. There are no enemies when you love, except the devil and your own carelessness. We have much to learn. And what we have to learn is, we know many things, but the one thing we lack greatly is wisdom. Because we forget that God guides and protects all of us. And he only allows to happen what is good for our salvation. And we're trying to tell God, you know, I need this. I need that. Can't you get me this? Can't you get me that? Blessed are they who hear the word of God and keep it. And uh, Joachim and Anna kept that. Even in their old age, when everybody says it's just too late, you can't have a child. She has this miraculous child who always, the first thing she says that we hear in the scriptures, the mother of God, when she was a young maiden, she says, she's told that she's going to be giving birth to a son. And she says, but I know not man. And they said, don't worry, it's God. And she, instead of getting frightened, she understands because she belongs to the Lord. We don't understand the word of God. We don't understand what's going on. We don't understand the turmoil in our own life. It's because we're not his children. We don't trust him. We don't say, whatever he's saying, I don't know, but I know it'll be fine because I heard the word of God and I keep it. Let us today ask St. Joachim and Anna if they would help us gain the confidence to listen to God, to listen to his holy word every day, not our own craziness in our head, not the ways of the world, not politics. You know, in the early church, when the church began, they had no church building. There was none. They had no money. 
They didn't know where they were going, but they knew what they were going to do. They were gonna follow the word of God, no matter where it took them. Today, we have buildings and money and politics and all kinds of stuff going on. That's what we listen to, not to the word of God and keep it. So if you are doing anything that is in contradiction to what the Lord says, stop it before you lose your life. Stop it. And hear the word of God and keep it. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.